Guam and the Northern Mariana Islands, the worst has come to pass. Explosively intensifying Category 5 Super Typhoon Moar is making its approach to Guam, and warnings are up for that. The cyclone now has winds of 160 miles an hour and a pressure of 925 millibars. It is located at 11.7 degrees north, 146.5 degrees east, and is moving northwest at 10 miles an hour. The storm, of course, has ballooned in intensity. It was 34 and a half hours ago that we put it up as a Category 1 with winds of 80 miles an hour, and that intensity has now doubled to the 160 miles an hour that you see on your screen in just 34 and a half hours. That does qualify as explosive intensification, which, if my memory serves me correctly, is 50 knots in 24 hours. This is 70 knots in 34. And that's just to hammer in how quickly things can change, like I've said before. And to highlight that, we have the wind radii and a radar image from not too, too long ago. Look how scary that looks. Look, and the wind radii is kind of hiding it, but holy cow. Just, the outer bands are starting to hit Guam. It's going to be a particularly dangerous situation, and I don't use those words lightly, over the course of the next several hours, day or two, and it will not be making a fast exit either. And the track forecast really highlights that little movement over the course of the next two days, and of course through the next five, it's category five all the way through. We're looking at a peak intensity somewhere in the day four range, currently sitting at a peak intensity forecast of 185 miles an hour. It has room to intensify. The only thing it can do now to weaken, and even then not by much, is trip over itself and start an eyewall replacement cycle. There is nothing else stopping this storm. Nothing else. No shear, good sea surface temperatures, no land for the next five days, nothing considerably so at least. You don't want to see it, folks. You don't want to see it. And this is just the last six hours in terms of satellite imagery. And that's how fast it's intensified. That's how fast the storm has put itself together. Preparations need to be rushed to completion, especially in Guam, but also in the Northern Mariana Islands. And that's going to do it for us here at ACSTS. It's a late shift, 2.28 a.m. at the time of recording. And we're beat. Day 143 of the year, only thing active is Typhoon Moir. And you can find us on our Twitter page at ACSGSEPA. We don't post on it much. Our YouTube channel at AC22Real for all of the antics coming out of the Actinium group. And located on there is a link to our Discord server as well. Stay tuned for further updates, and we will see you later. And again, warnings up for Guam, the Northern Mariana Islands, and we hope everyone stays safe. And let us know if you have any comments or concerns. See ya.